I think this should work. Suspended between these two cardboard boxes is the anchor chain. And they've just, just got uh, clips here holding them on. Pretty well all 24 inches is exposed here. My thinking is that I've got a little brush here. Very, very soft brush. And I'm going to use the same color as I've got on the outside of the uh, hull there. I did some research on the internet and I only found one picture of a rusty chain. Now my thinking here is that if I use this, any any place where the brass happens to show through, yeah, it's going to look like, hopefully it's going to appear to be rusty. You know, simulated rust. That's my plan. Now, what I'm, what I'm hoping is going to work here, and and when I checked it a few minutes ago it did, is if I turn, you know, I'll paint the whole thing, uh, you know, with the brush at this angle, and then I'll turn the clips one quarter turn, like this, and like this. Now, that should turn the chain a quarter turn, and I'll just very gently do it again. Oh, by the way, this is, this is really thinned out. It's from, from the airbrush. And my plan is to put it on very, very lightly. And then turn it another quarter turn. Paint again. Um, I, that's the plan. I think it'll work. Maybe what I should do is I'll, I'll just do one end here. Just a little bit, just to see how it's going to go. I, I want to be very careful that I don't put so much on that I fill up the, uh, you know, in, in between, and that I fill up the links, individual links because that would really spoil it. Now I know I could also spray and if I was to spray it there, there'd be very little chance of filling up the links but my experience with the spray as, mu as much as I like it I find that paint that is brushed on for some reason seems to stick on better than paint that is sprayed on. Um, maybe it's just my imagination you know. <laughs> anyway let's, let's give it a try right here. Now, because I'm going to be painting on the other side of the camera, uh, you're not going to see it until I turn it a quarter turn. I think I might be putting it on too thick there. Okay, I'm going to turn this one a quarter turn towards you. And we'll turn the other one a quarter turn. We'll do it again. And the other one. again. Whoops! Well that didn't work. Now I probably got a whole bunch of fluffies in it. Okay. Start again. Well I think you can see I've grabbed onto the chain differently here. And uh, the paint is almost dry now. We'll stick the macro lens on and look at it real close here. I don't know how it's going to look after it's been handled a little bit. Could be I should have put it on a little bit thicker. Well, let's get the macro lens on and have a close look. You're looking about in the middle of the painting. I'll turn it a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like we kind of missed a little bit there on some of those links. That's, that's probably the quarter that didn't get painted. Anyway, we'll let that completely dry and see how it looks.
Now one of the viewers asked me, why is it that sometimes I'm whispering? Well, when I've got the macro lens on and I'm right up close to the camera, your ear is right there. There's your other ear. So, in order for myself to see nice and close what I'm doing, I'm just about eating the microphone. And I, I subconsciously know that I have to whisper. I don't deliberately do it. Change in plans here. I don't think I need very much. Get my lid back on in case I spill this. Now, I'm going to try and get this off. <laughs> you ever hear of a stiff chain? <laughs> wonder what would happen if I bend this. Get it kind of all back together again. Am I going to lose the the paint there? Well anyway, let's see if this isopropyl will dissolve this. I'm hoping it will. I might have to sort of rub it off. Just let it soak a little bit there and we'll look at it in a few minutes. Well, just soaking it didn't work. Let's see if maybe I can brush it off. Yeah, that seems to be working. Okay, now I'll turn it over and do the other side. Now here's one of those moments when I've got my face right down here nice and close. And uh, I have a tendency to automatically speak real low. I do not have the macro lens on, so I'm not as close as I sometimes am. But I'm wanting to be very careful that I don't raise my voice because I'm finding that the automatic volume control on this recording amplifier that's in the camera uh, doesn't work too well. Well, it actually works pretty good, but not as well as I think it should. I do have another uh, recorder that I can use in conjunction with this camera and it's actually pretty good. It's a little easier to adjust the volume up and down manually quickly. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, we've probably got 90% of it off. Well, it's really clear. I'm going to try and spray it. The reason for this paper behind here is I'm going to try and have it as reasonably close to the chain as possible. And that makes it a lot easier then to see where you're going. Because um, I, I don't want to have the, uh, the uh, nozzle right up close to it. I want to have it back a little bit. And it'll be a lot easier to see if I have it in line of sight here. Well, you, you get the idea, I'm sure.
put it on too thick. I think that's pretty good. We'll let this cure overnight, even though I don't really think it takes that long to actually dry. Anyway, tomorrow we'll try and get the clevises hooked on the end of the chain, get the anchors in place, but like I said, that's going to be tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.